NBC5's medical expert, Dr. Robin Miller, joining us now for this week's Focus on Health. Thanks for being here, Dr. Miller. Thanks for having me. Let's get to our very first question. Does Sounds good. The memory boosting effect, I'm so excited about this, I wanted to answer. <laughs> okay, go Does ahead. Does the memory boosting effect of coffee depend on when we drink it? Yes. It certainly looks that way. College students were recruited to complete a memory task. Some were assigned to an early morning session, others in the afternoon. They rated how awake they felt, and then half were given a regular cup of coffee before they started the task. The other half got decaf, but were told it had caffeine. They then rated how awake they felt again. The afternoon group did not get a memory boost. The morning group did. That is, if they drank the caffeinated coffee. Interesting. What if they felt awake to start with in the morning? It didn't really help. Okay. Mm. So if you feel awake and you drink coffee, it may make you feel better, but it doesn't really help your memory as much. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm drinking that coffee. Not that I wasn't Definitely. already. Definitely. Yeah, you were doing, doing it doing anyway. It. Yeah. <laughs> Our second question, is there something that can help dads to be more paternal when their children are born? Well, yes. Researchers did a study looking at oxytocin, the empathy hormone, and how it influenced fathers. Fathers who had children between the ages of one and two were recruited for the study. Craig. Half were given oxytocin through a nasal spray. The other half got placebo. They all had functional MRI studies done as they viewed pictures of their children and a child that was unfamiliar as well as an unfamiliar adult. The areas of the brain known for reward and empathy of those given oxytocin lit up when shown their own children's pictures. Of course. Okay, so is this something that may be used to help the paternal behavior of fathers? Maybe yes. Perhaps on a more regular basis? Yes, and actually Dads get postpartum depression as well. Mm. Yeah, we had I a didn't story realize that. about yeah. that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it will help with that. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, now one more question for expectant parents, perhaps. Is there a difference in the mom's immunity if she's carrying a boy or a girl? Yes. I always thought so, actually. <laughs> a recent study looked at levels of cytokines in pregnant women. Cytokines regulate immunity and inflammation. It appears that women pregnant with girls may experience more severe symptoms of certain illnesses. Immune cells of women carrying girls produce more pro-inflammatory cytokines when exposed to bacteria. This may explain why they have worsening of asthma and allergies, as well as some other conditions while pregnant. Interesting. Is there a way to reduce that kind of inflammation? Oh, of course. Okay. And you know what it is. Uh, exercise, diet. yes, <laughs> the Mediterranean diet and exercise. Okay. Oh, I've got that's you trained so well. Moderation. <laughs> yeah, we can run down the <laughs> red line it. in moderation. No, not, yeah. not in pregnant no. women. <laughs> no, that's, uh, excuse me, yes, yes. Generally speaking, <laughs> yes, yes. Not a doctor, you shouldn't listen to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we want to let you know that you can send your questions to Dr. Robin Miller at the address on your screen. She's got better answers than that. <laughs> or email them in drmiller at klbi5.com. Look for the answers to your questions right here next Tuesday night. Thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, that's why we have the expert. Thank you, Dr. Miller. <laughs> NBC5 meteorologist Adam Cole packs up next with your full weather forecast. But first, take a look at what's coming up tonight in primetime.